this is concolor fir in the Pinaceae family, genus is Abies, and concolor is the specific epithet. So Abies concolor is the entire species, and it's got a very excurrent form, which means that the branches near the top start to get shorter and shorter, and it gets wider and wider as we move down toward the base of the tree. Let's take a closer look at some of the features. A reminder for plants, trees that are in the Abies genus, the firs, the true firs, if you see a cone, you tend to see them late in the summer or fall and maybe throughout the winter, but their cones will point upward off of a twig. So we don't typically see the cones during the summertime. They'll be developing if they are on the tree. And they tend to develop near the top. And then those cones break apart. So the cone scales themselves actually fall off and we call that deciduous. So the cone and the cone scales are deciduous. They break apart. Once they're gone, they will leave a little woody peg coming off that was the center of the cone. And you might see some of those as remnants. If we look straight on the needle, we'll see that even though the needles come from the bottom, they, they tend to all push upward. Unlike the spruce, where the needles will point downward and upward, the fir all tend to go upward. Now that can change a little bit in different light conditions. Looking closer at the needles, how they're attached, you can see at the base, there's this little round, almost suction cup-like attachment, and they're singly attached. The needles are also flat, which is pretty typical of firs. These needles are also fairly soft to the touch. It doesn't hurt to grab around them. Many of the firs also, if we break a needle and then we smell that, where we've broken it, or just sort of rub around a little bit in, in your fingers, you can get a real citrusy smell. Uh, most people find that fairly pleasant. If you look closely, it can be a little hard to see on a video, but you'll notice there's this bluish hue, or kind of whitish hue, hence the name concolor fur or white fur occasionally. That can actually rub off and, and you might get a little greener in color. It depends. If it's a little more shaded, you might have a little greener needle. If it's more out in the sun or more full sun, you may have this whiter, bluer coloring to it. In terms of shade tolerance, firs tend to be more shade tolerant than spruces.